from the bottom all the way to the top, this wall right here in the Neon District is displaying a message, Black Lives Matter. It's being painted by two Norfolk public school teachers who are using their paintbrushes to record this rather historic moment that we're all seeing. It's great to have the students see the art is real that it's an actual part of life. Walker Drive down Magazine Lane in the Neon District, and that's where you'll find Nicole Harp and Clayton Singleton at work. I have responsibility, and so does he, uh, uh, as educators and artists, to, um, to make our voices heard. Harp is an art teacher at Granby High School, and Singleton is an art teacher at Lake Taylor High School. Together, they're making this become this. We wanted to, um, make the voices heard of the um, Black Lives Matter movement. The Neon District put a call out for interested artists in July to paint a mural, and the two were chosen. First thing we did was actually project it to the wall at night, sprayed it out, lined it out, came in and started blocking in this abstract color that is up here. Learn how to drive a scissor lift. Learn how to drive a scissor lift. Got over some fear of heights. It's taken them days to work on. They've dealt with rain, but they're committed to finishing it. The two say they'll also pour an anti-graffiti mix. If you remove black lives from our country or our world, the fabric simply unravels, and we need to walk away with that message. This mural is letting them know that we're right there with them, um, that we're right there in the protest. Protesting with paints and brushes. As for when this mural is going to be done, will the artists tell us probably in another week. In Norfolk, Julio Avila, News 3.